those of you who have been watching uh, 11 Alive and our Facebook page as prominent Buckhead attorney Tex MacGyver stands trial for the murder of his wife. And after a week off from spring break, the trial continues tomorrow morning as both sides head back to the courtroom. Uh, this week, 11 Alive's Faith of Bube is giving us a preview of what we can expect. And I'll tell you what, Faith, when it comes to this trial, a lot of folks are talking about it, especially on social media. That's right, Ron. They are very interested in the story. And Tex MacGyver's attorneys have been patiently waiting now for more than three weeks to make their case that the Atlanta attorney did not intentionally kill his wife. And they're hoping to get their chance to convince the jury very soon. But as we head into tomorrow, those still have to stay put. The prosecution will continue calling its witnesses to prove their charge that MacGyver did kill his wife intentionally intentionally on September 25th, 2016 for money. Well, on that day, the attorney and his wife were riding in an SUV. McIver was in the back seat behind his wife with the loaded handgun he says was on his lap. While Tex maintains to this day, the gun fired on its own and killed his wife in the horrible accident, according to him. But prosecutors are saying he meant to kill her and lined up 97 people on their witness list to lay out this case. We've heard from several of them already, including police officers, hospital staff, and the driver of the SUV, Tex, and his wife were in when she was shot. Take a listen. I heard a big boom, and I didn't know what it was. I thought there was an explosion somewhere, and I saw a puff of smoke, and I could see his hand, and I could see the top of the gun, I could see part of the gun, his hands, and some of the bag. What happened next? She said, Tex, she shot me. Well, right before the trial was put on a one-week break, we also heard from an Atlanta police detective, Darren Smith. He was one of the people who interviewed McIver right after that shooting. Listen to this exchange in court. If I just hold it in my hands like this, will it just go off? No. Sit down with it. Hold it down here in my lap. Will it just go off? No. If I handle it like this in any way, will it just go off? No. What will make this firearm go off? Something would have to act on the trigger. And when you say something has to act on the trigger, what do you mean? I mean, the trigger has to be pulled rearward. Well, we've heard from several people so far in this trial. This has already been a very emotional trial. We've seen McIver himself cry a few times in court. It'll be really interesting to see if the defense does decide to put him on the stand. But again, the trial resumes tomorrow. You can watch live on 11alive.com, Ron. All right, thanks a lot, Faith. By the way, as you pointed out, uh, not only can you watch on 11alive.com, you can get more in-depth legal coverage. Each and every day of uh, MacGyver's trial as Vinny Politan sits down with his legal dream team to break down the day's events. Just go live to our Facebook Live at 7.30 p.m. every weeknight. And then you can watch the late feed at 11 p.m. on 11 Alive as uh, they wrap up the day's biggest developments. All right, in other news.